Well, howdy everyone. Cow, your average sim racer here. It will be week four tomorrow uh, in iRacing, and we are back at Laguna Seca. It's uh, been a while since we've been here. I think um, 2021 season one, I think. So it has been a while. Uh, but I thought, as usual, I'll take you around for a few laps in the uh, ZB Commodore. Sand up a little. There you go. Uh, not too impressed with my live stream tonight. Uh, ended up blowing up the motor. So there you go. Um, Oren Park, I was thinking I was running second at the time too. Anyway, these things happen, so I'll try not to do that today. But Laguna Seca raced here on Sunday night for the um, Sim Racing World League that I'm in. And uh, that was uh, good fun. Um, I think I finished 12th or 13th. I had a big moment in the corkscrew and I had the wheel do a USB disconnect on me and throw me into the wall. So I will be sending it back. Tomorrow is the big day that we're pulling the rig apart and trying to reinforce it and get rid of the, the bit of flex that I've got in the rig at the moment. All right. Anyway, we're coming around here the last part of the lap. Now to set up sort of this last corner, you're, prob you're looking to break it about two and a half and there's a, right, a line on the right there. Back to second and really try and get on the gas as early as you can. You can use a fair bit of that runoff. Alright, so as we come up over the hill, the Andretti hairpin, we're looking to break. There's a line just before the sign there. That's when we're going to start to apply the brake. Back to second. Now you want to try and get a really good exit out of here. Notice I sort of tried to go wide and use double apex. We're going to break at about two or about maybe one and a half, but probably closer to the two. All right, same here. We're going to break at about the two just so we can get the car turned in and try to carry as much speed as we can. You can see there, now that's the first uh, peril. Breaking at about the three. Back to third. And see, we've missed the apex there as well. All right, so you can see where there's a couple of uh, areas where you need precise braking at about two and a half back to fourth. And then you can get on the gas and carry some nice speed. Now this is a tricky corner. There's a line just after the curving. That's where you want to brake. If you're going back to second now, you've got to be really careful with the brake. And don't cut that corner there too much or you'll get a slowdown. I found that one out the other night too. All right, trying to coast sort of around here. Keep a bit of throttle on so you can maintain speed. And again, break, break, breaking at about one and a half. You can see at the moment, she's pretty hot out there. I think 42 degrees. Because the practice servers aren't actually up yet, uh, they start tomorrow. I've gone out and sort of just done a usual hot track practice that I've done. So hopefully it's a bit cooler this week in the officials. Oh, let's try that again. So again, breaking just at that line or maybe just a touch after it. Car in there. I'm breaking it about the two or one and a half just inside it. Like the third on the gas. And just touch a brake to get the car turned in. And then on the gas. Okay, we did that a bit better this time. You can see already we're a couple of seconds up. Breaking it three. See if we can hit the apex again properly this time. Alright. Break a bit closer to the two that time. Carried some good pace through there. Gain that line on the left. I'm sure you could probably experiment with carrying a bit more speed up over that rise, but it's quite dangerous. And the corkscrew is a corner you really want to respect. Alright, you can turn in a bit better there. A bit better drive out of the corner. As I've said multiple times before, the key to getting faster in this car is all about getting on the gas on your exits. Alright, so let's have a look where that put us. It's still pretty hot out there. 26.5. Alright, so I don't think I'm on the pace yet. Um, I am just out on a full fuel load, so this is race setup, not qualifying. 
But what we'll do is we'll bring it around and I'll show you the pit entry. See there, I've just fired up a test session, generated the, the uh, track conditions, so looks like there's a few marks. And you can see just how easy it is to, to stuff that corner up. And this is one, if you get it right, there's a chance you're making a move up the inside. Alright, right at the two, I broke down, and you can see that. It's probably just a tiny bit too late and you go out there, all manner of trouble. All right, and you look at how much that cost me, at least probably a second and a half, maybe two, with that little off. Oh, I should actually try to cut that and show you the slowdown there, but you really don't want to cut that corner at the top of the hill. You get away with an off track at the bottom, where it won't cost you a slowdown, but cut it at the top there. All right, here, we're looking to break basically just before that yellow line there. Back to first, you can put your limiter on early, so you make sure you don't go over the speed limit and cop penalty. Alrighty guys, well there's a quick look at Laguna Seca. Uh, pretty hot track that I'm doing those laps on, so I think last night the fast guys, uh, it was about a 29 degree track last uh, night in SRW, the guys, the fast guys were doing 23s and uh, sort of the rest of the pack were sort of 24s, 25s, maybe 26s as tyres went off in the race. Anyway, guys, um, good luck at Laguna Seca this week uh, if you're an iRacer. If you're not and you're a follower, it's awesome to have you on board and uh, love to see you out there watching my live streams every Monday night. I'm going to try and bring some more content to you, maybe start streaming the new uh, league, uh, SRW League, when it starts up again as well, probably about three weeks. But... The big news, pulling the rig apart tomorrow, and hopefully we'll get rid of a fair bit of this little wobble that I've got. Alrighty guys, Cowie Average Slim Racer signing off, we'll see you next time.